So I'm going to go ahead and dimension that. I think I put it two inches for the for this back, so I'm just going to use that two inches. Well, I was using the inch, and I should have been using the in. Okay. <coughs> now we can see that there is a discrepancy between the measurements. The measurements uh, from the sensor here. It's, it's okay. That's all right. Work has to go on. All right. Now I want to go from. No. Can't seem to get to the. Yeah. Try that again. Dimension. This point to this line. There we go. Um, actually, I don't want to do that. I want to make that half of the hole. So let's first do a dimension of this hole. And uh, yeah, I've already got it. Duh. All right. So I'm going to dimension this one here. <laughs> Can't remember what I actually did. And then I'm going to use this dimension. So I'm going to click on it and I'm going to divide it by two. So now I have it perfectly centered. You can also see it's coinciding with, with the back of the the um, the back of this correctly. I'm going to go ahead and save because it's telling me to save. So I'm going to save this. Oh, I got to get out of the sketch, so I'm going to press OK. And then I'm going to save it. All right. Now, I just saved it, so I'm going to go back into it. You can see that I'm back into the top router mount. You can notice that this portion right here is actually smaller than this portion. We lost the dimension because we cut, we cut it here. And now these are two separate parts. We also cut it over here. So we need to create another dimension for this portion. Actually, I'll probably get rid of this first because we'll, we'll get into some trouble if we don't. So I'm going to go back to the sketch. All right. So we're going to redimension this, but we're going to first cut these. We're going to trim these out because I know that if I dimension this, then when I cut this, I'll lose that dimension. So let's go ahead and... We have to go into the sketch, so I'm going to double click that sketch. All right, so let's trim that out. Trim, trim. Now it looks like one piece, which is good. And we also probably lost, no, we didn't lose that, that's good. Because we, I guess we didn't trim it in two locations. So let's go ahead and dimension this. And that was going to be 0.75. And we'll do it to this portion here. 0.75. And do it here. So we're finished with the dimensions on the circle, and you notice how these turn blue as well, so now they're constrained completely. So now we are able to press escape getting out of the dimension. We can actually move this wherever we want. We can move this one wherever we want using the construction line. We might actually be able to move it using these lines too. Let's see. No, I can't. Let's see this one. Yeah, we can move it with this point. So it's many ways you can adjust this. Now I think it's pretty safe to go ahead and extrude it. I don't know why this is. Well, yeah, this is green because I'm able to move it around. So let's let's go ahead and extrude this. So I'm going to press the E. Well, finish the sketch. I'll use the E, or I can also use the extrude if I go to 3D model, but I'll use the E here. And I'm going to extrude this portion, and it's going to be at point 
I can either use this section or this section here. I generally like to use this this dialog box here. So 0.75, press OK. Now we have our part. This is not going to be the final. It's just something that's sort of a placeholder. But I like to do some things to make it look nicer, and I will generally do like a fillet here or a chamfer fillet I generally like to use. And since it's going to be the same thing on the other side, and it's probably going to be the same size, I'm going to go ahead and click on this line as well. And when I move one, both of them should be m moving at the same time. So this will give us a little bit more strength. So we'll go ahead and accept that. I probably won't be doing it. All right, I'll probably want to do a fillet on this section. I'm not really sure if this is going to keep, but let's see what happens. I'll probably do a small one. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. And press it. Accept that. Okay. So I'll probably have to put some uh, crossed out holes here and some screw holes here, but I'm going to wait until I get the whole thing together before I finalize all that. So the next thing I want to do is make a hole on the side so I can receive a screw. I'm going to do a hole on both sides. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this face to create the hole. So I'm going to start and use sketch on this particular face. I don't have to actually do it here. I can just click on this face and it'll ask me here to create a sketch. One of these options is creating a sketch. So I'm going to do that. And you can see that it was actually off center a little bit. Um, this is the plane that I'm going to be using for sketching. There's actually two ways I can do this. I can also do it by using the hole command, but I'll do this one, this side with the sketch, and I'll do the other side with the hole command. So I'm just going to create a circle. I'm going to use one of these edges to define its center. So I'm going to dimension. From there, half of 0.75 is 0.375. And then I'm going to dimension it from the end. doesn't seem to want to dimension. No. Let's try dimensioning again from the center to the edge. There we go. And I think probably point, point 0.5 may be fine. Now I can use this as an extrude. So I'm going to finish the sketch. I'm going to use the extrude, but I'm going to do it in a... I'm going to use the 3D model and see if I can do it that way. So click on this, and I'm going to extrude in the other direction. So I'm going to make a cut. And I'm going to have it go all the way through. So I can do it with this one. Yeah, through all. Actually, I'm, I've gone all the way through it, so that's actually good. Uh, so I'll show you the whole command on a different part. So I'll accept that. Now I have the holes going all the way through. Oh, and I didn't dimension this, the size of the hole, hole, so I need to do that. So I'm going to go back to that sketch. Uh, probably find a better on... Um, yeah, here we go. I'm going to go to this sketch, double click the sketch, and dimension the actual hole. It needs to be... I'm going to go back to the sketch tab. Uh, I can't dimension it. Why? Oh, I'm not in the sketch yet. I need to edit, edit sketch. Here we go. So I need to dimension this. Dimension it at 0.25. That's better. And your sketch, and now you can see that everything changed automatically. So I'm going to return out of this, and we'll start on on our other part.